This morning we're putting our spy gear on as we walk through the new world of James Bond. The new first ever exhibit at the Museum of Science and Industry to focus on the science and technology behind the movie franchise through vehicles, gadgets, and stunts. That's where we find our Darius Johnson. Good morning, DJ. Hey there, Brad. Good morning. Again, you just talked about the science and technology, and I don't think people realize there are a total of 25 James Bond films dating back from 1962 all the way to 2021. Joining me right now is Kathleen McCarthy. She's the curator behind this exhibit, and Kathleen, these are a bunch of tricks and gadgets and different things from all of those movies. Talk to me about some of these that we have right here in this case. Yeah, so it's really important for a spy to be able to get in someplace and then get out yep. safely. So here we have the belt and the rigging device that Halle, Bory, Halle Berry wore in um, Die Another Day. And here we have an underwater breather from the same movie. Now, th this allowed James Bond to escape underwater. The next day, the film production company got a call from the Royal Engineers mm -hmm. asking for the plans for that. They thought it was real. Oh. So, yeah. Wait, and I believe you told me they said, how long can you hold your breath underwater? And they said... How, as long as the actor can hold their breath. <laughs> so, so it actually didn't help at all. <laughs> no, no. And then this escape sometimes means blowing up a big wall. This holds the Guinness Book of World Records for the largest explosion in a movie. Oh they had three seconds. They told Daniel Craig, don't mess up your line because I'm going to press the button when you start. And it was quick and fast. It quick and fast. All right, perfect. I think we have about a minute and a half left. I know we want to show a couple of other items in here. We wanted to go to this case right here specifically because it features over a hundred years of different devices to be able to act as a spy, if you yeah. will. Yeah, so these are real spy equipment. And so we wanted to show that the James Bond stuff is not fantasy, it's actually real. So here you have a listening device. Here, a pen, maybe. A keychain, maybe. Those are cameras. But this is also a camera. These are from the 60s and 70s. This is from 1880. Wow. You would have put it in your vest pocket. It, the lens would have poked out through a buttonhole and you pull a string to do it. Wow. So. And we have 45 seconds. Brad, I have to show you these last two things because I know you're a James Bond fan. I know you would love to see this. I've been fascinated. Really fast, this is Wet Nelly from The Spy Who Loved Me. All of you all may remember this infamous scene. We've been watching it right here all morning long. But then we're going to go over to the Jaguar as well because there's a pretty amazing story about this. And Kathleen, if you can wrap up this story in about 15 seconds, yeah. it'll be perfect. So the Jaguar, that you can see, they did a lot of work on it. Then they're going to drive it on ice, and they're so nervous. If the ice cracks, the car falls through, they lose it. So they put water sensors all along the bottom and built airbags. So if it started to sink, the airbags would inflate, and they'd be able to go grab the car before it went through the ice. I love it. This is from Die Another Day. We're going to send it back to you all. all right. Darius, thank you, my friend.